All right, hello everyone. Here we are back for another Golf Clash tutorial video. And here we are for the Voyager Tournament Pro Division. So, right now, I'm just in shop kind of gathering my thoughts as to how I want to go about setting up this. So here you're going to see me put the sniper on. Um, I might switch over to my backbone. Let me see how close these two are. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll make that switch right there. Kind of set our bag up like this. So now that you see the basic bag, let me make sure that this matches up, which it looks like it does. So for all that you have uh, not heard so far, we have uh, this new Golf Clash update in the shop. So if you have yet to update, um, it is version 0 0.122, and it's what I'm going to use as kind of a tool to, um, you know, best uh, give me the ring adjustments that I'm going to want. And um, if you don't see my grid color, um, it's very much in-game, um, but the, the one thing that you might not see is... The way that my recording app works, for some reason there's a bug in it and it doesn't record the color sometimes, but you might see a glimpse of it from time to time. And as I turn my grid on, it will change to whatever color I switch to. You just might not actually be able to see it, see the grid full on on your screen, but it's very much working just as the color that you see that I just set it to. So do keep in mind that they're going to, whatever I set it to, whatever color I stop on, is going to be the way that that's working. <clears throat> and let's get underway here. Check this course out. There's a couple ways to do this. Um, you can go around to the right-hand side and leave yourself, hopefully, a thorn-type pitch which would be ideal. Um, it's much easier done with a power ball to get out there. I do recommend kind of going to the right. Uh, one of the advantages to going to the right is um, the straight wind angle. So you'll get the wind much straighter downwind Don't ask me why I can't find anybody in Pro Division right now. It took well longer than it should have for Pro. So there's going to be, you know, two driving options. You can go left, you can go right. And as I mentioned, the one that I'm going to recommend is going right. And even better if you can get to that second fairway. So you can see this account has some berserkers, some other options. Um, I'm going to try to do this as minimal as I can. Which will also, you know, it's not going to be the easiest shot for sure. So you're going to want to be a little careful with this. You're going to have to be relatively precise with your timing. And that great ball may end up costing me, we'll see. Looks like it's going to sneak up into the right hand of this fairway. One of the things that you can do is you can lay back as well. <clears throat> so I'll probably show you how to do both ways, which is go full like I just did. And of course, the better your extra mile and win scenario, the easier that's going to be. You can see that I just crept over to the other side <clears throat> from the water. So if I had less wind than that, it might have been that much more challenging to get over to the other side. And here, um, if you're going to lay up, I don't know what my opponent's planning to do yet. If you are going to lay up, do make sure that you don't try to full overpower it like this or topspin it. You'll just want to kind of play very minimal topspin, maybe one or two, and just lay up and short into that fairway. 
And there you can see my opponent actually gets over, but not quite long enough. And one of the things that I can do is I could have been setting this up already the way that I want. And it looks like I'm going to actually be at backbone distance. And also very, very maxed backbone distance. So what you'll see me try to do is maybe land it about here. 7.3. We're going to play very, very close to max. Up here, maybe 4.7 rings or so. It might be a little bit uphill. But it will be very negligible. So that's 4.7 rings. We'll just try to straighten this up the best we can. Mm -mm. And hopefully give ourselves a good chance. And there you can see that it just goes off the edge. And it, that's one of the best things about getting the wind very straight like that. Is you'll be able to do that very consistently. The only problem is, is uh, you could see how it's kind of a tight situation where you don't have a lot of runouts. So it really helps if you can get it up to thorn range. So what you might want to consider is going up there with a berserker ball, which would be even better than the option that you saw me just do. Because you'd be up there farther um, and at thorn range which is going to allow the ball to stop much easier. You can see that I was very close to the front of that fairway and had full backspin. And you can see that it came in very tight, not a lot of margin for error. And if you choose to play it with, uh, if you choose to play that with the thorn, when you use your backspin, you know, your full three-ish bars of backspin, um, it'll be well shorter and much more fair way to play with. So getting up to that thorn range is going to make that a lot easier. And the only way that's really going to be possible would be if you increase the ball ability that you use. Maybe a blue marble, maybe a uh, roulette ball, something like that. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about the shootouts here. In fact, I was thinking about forfeiting that one just outright, but I wanted to kind of avoid the replay for at least a few holes before I start forfeiting out. So here I'm just going to forfeit out that shootout. Um, good luck with that first hole. Let me know how it's working out. Um, I'm also going to get you a revision. I'll probably also hit a layup shot, but I'll also probably try to get it up to that thorn shot for you as well so you can kind of see a bunch of different perspectives. So do keep in mind that you just might need a little bit more extra power to get up that far. So if you don't have the power balls to do so, you might not want to try it, which is the reason that I'll, you know, I'll show you guys how to lay back and just hit a sniper from back there. So good luck with that hole, guys, and catch you guys for our visions coming up and see you guys on the next hole.